We are into an exciting day as a swell has shown up and intense waves hitting this reef pass in the Pacific. Kaibo Girl, along with 1988 world champ Martin Lynch to talk you through some of the action. So Soli Bailey would have been a sneaky pick as you're playing Fantasy Surf on WorldSurfLeague.com. Checking this out, and that is Sebastian Zietz in and out for his first wave. So he's going to have a pretty good score to start off his matchup against Michelle Perez. He's taking a bit of a hit there with his loss. Sebastian Zietz donning the helmet. On the replay, grabs the rail deep. Nice travel time on this one. And already popping up, heading his way to the channel out of harm. Sebastian Zietz going to fly by Soli Bailey in the barrel. Extended tube time. And another great way for Sebastian Zietz, who already has a 5.33 to his credit in the non-priority heat. The sky. Here we go, another look at Sebastian Z. So here you think he's coming out, but there he puts on the brakes and manages to squeeze a couple of seconds extra of tube travel time. We'll see it right here in the tube, perfect. And you think about now he's gonna to start to come out, right? You think, okay, job done, come out. But here he just uses the rail, holds it, holds it. Here we go on a paddle. This is Michelle Perez and nothing on offer for Perez. Mm, that was, yeah, that was, that, that wave looked like it had a nice line to it. The original yeah. Tahitian representative on the championship tour. What a rich history Tahiti has in surfing. Absolutely. On an inside by Michelle Perez. Another Tahitian under the hook, in the barrel, easily out for Michelle Perez. Sebastian Z is pitted up against Michelle Perez in the non-priority heat. So although we have four surfers in the water, we really have two surfers against each other. Perez on the takeoff, Ooh. has to wind up the windows there and goes down. And that is a brutal wipeout for Michelle Perez. He cut out, he had the, enough speed, he pumped, and then he went to the paddle, and there was energy all over oh, on right. Oh, another barrel for Seabass. So, big tube rides in quick succession. Actually starts to get shallower and shallower, and quite literally at the end of these waves, You'd be talking six inches, six to 12 inches of water on top of the reef. So there's nothing to work with. Sebastian Zietz in the barrel, kicking out, looking to replace his low of 4.93. He's currently in the lead over Michelle Perez in the priority heat with 15 minutes remaining in that priority heat. All due to the bathymetry out here at Chopo, a reef pass that where the wave energy changes from an extremely deep water outside ocean to a very shallow reef pass combine that with a very deep channel and that equals big tubes like sebastian Zietz Ooh. just came through over the foam ball kicking out and he's going to maintain his lead over michelle Perez, maybe even adding to it with that last ride great execution by adrian de souza michelle Perez right behind him threads through that section and the tahitian kicks off safely in the channel what an exchange Barton. good stuff and then the quick exit Here's Perez on the replay, Barton. Uh, and, and it's almost like you go a quick in and out, but he drops in, gets tubed. That was a great throaty section in front of what they see as normal. Uh, going to show us performance. Look at this throaty, steep one there. Spits and out comes Michelle Perez. That he's got the best or the highest score of his exchange with Seabass right now. Oh, and Seabass nearly went right over the top of Michelle there. Uh, a 6-1-7. As we look, to Seabass on this replay. Well, he got the priority there in that paddle race. He was actually behind at the, the start of the paddle race. It felt like it was all going Seabass's way and Seabass is making sure Michelle's gonna go this. Here he goes, 5.06 is the number. Perez pulls in, doesn't completely disappear. Oh. Man, takes a horrible lift to the head on his exit out. 100% the skill in and around the surfing and the survival. Great little insider. Can he get the score he needs? He's super deep. Came out, looks to the channel, looks to the judges. Again, 5.06 is the requirement for Perez. What do you think, Barton? Again, deep technical barrel riding is part of the criteria. And he came out well after the spit, so the wave had spat. He came out well after it. Here's this angle, look. 
Beautiful wave, he's in, he's on the foam ball, super deep up on that foam ball, critical. I think he could get it. I feel like he could get the score and, and just steal this one from Seabass right at the last minute as the siren goes, Kaipo. Still waiting for this score. We've seen the wave on the replay for Michelle Perez, an ultra important wave for the Tahitian. And it's done, the map, 5.43. Michelle Perez beats wow. Sebastian Zietz at the wire. And now the Tahitian moves on into the round of 16 here at the Tahiti Pro, Barton. Wow. That what was... a great effort.